The last person to see Diego Maradona alive. The soccer legend's night nurse arrived at prosecutors' offices Monday for questioning, suspected of failing to monitor Maradona for some 12 hours as he lay dying. His lawyer says he was only following orders. It was indicated that the patient should not be bothered. He was instructed by his superiors. He used to be part of a WhatsApp group in which there were different health professionals, and they told him about these types of things. Seven of Maradona's former caregivers are under investigation for manslaughter after a board of medical experts determined that the footballer had received deficient and reckless care following brain surgery for a blood clot in November of 2020. He died just two weeks later at a rented home in an exclusive neighborhood of Buenos Aires, sparking a national outpouring of grief for the icon who led Argentina to its second-ever World Cup victory in 1986. Maradona's daughters have blamed neurosurgeon Leopoldo Luque for his death. Luque, though, says he did his best and that the star was a depressed and often difficult patient who didn't follow doctor's orders. Though he had struggled with substance abuse, no alcohol or illegal drugs were found during Maradona's autopsy. Once all seven individuals have been questioned, a judge will decide if they should stand trial. If convicted, they face between 8 and 25 years in prison.